jokes. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Come on. We're going to bring up our first contestant tonight. RosenbergRadio.com is where you can hear his radio show. Give it up for Peter Rosenberg. Holy shit, that was awkward. <laughs> that was the worst six minutes of my life. Um, I am not going to attempt to be a comedian. I'm not one. In fact, I'm not even a radio host. As you heard, I now have my own radio show. I would have mentioned in my bio, I did have a radio show for the last year on a, a station that will be named, uh, remain nameless. Um, I am now uh, 27 years old. I am jobless. And I did recently contract my first STD. <laughs> Don't get excited, it's not nearly as glamorous as you think. I actually wore it like a badge of honor. I was really psyched about it at first. I called up my girlfriend and told her, I thought she'd be psyched. And it wasn't even a good VD, it was like a, it was like a pussy VD. Like I talked to my doctor and she was like, I was like, what do I tell my girlfriend? She was like, not anything, it's just, you're, you're just a bitch. She laughed at me. And actually, I never get recognized. I did middays on, on WJFK for a year. No one ever says anything to me, except for my cop doctor. For, first trip to the cop doc, and I walk in, and she's like, Peter Rosenberg! And I was like, that is so sweet. She's like, take out your wang, let me see it. <laughs> and then the last time I was in there, honest to God, uh, this, this is all, by the way, I'm not smart enough or funny enough to come up with anything. The last time I was in there, while she's helping me out, and I'm, she'll do this thing, they, I don't know if anyone's had this experience before, they check out your wang, and for ladies, I know it's a, if that's, that's the stirrups thing, I'm not even trying to put it on the same level, like that's, that's its own thing altogether. You guys are special. That's why you have repeated orgasms. Like, you earned that yourself. But for us, like, anything involving my penis is just a problem, and I don't want to do it. And she hands me this, like, weird white cloth, like, to hold, I guess, so I don't see that there's a strange woman looking at my penis. I guess I'd hold it like, like this. I don't know how it works. And I was like, but I still know you're going to be looking at it, right? And then I went out for a minute, and it turned out that a male doctor came in who was, he was actually really handsome. I hate to say that. I don't know how gay that is. But I mean, the only dude who has to check out my penis has to be, like, mind-blowingly handsome. I wanted to, like, set him up with, like, the first 27-year-old Jewish chick I could find. But you do have to think about, you're left to think about what we've had with Mark Brunel over the last couple years. It's been an interesting run. First of all, I've never seen someone who's more excited to lose than Mark Brunel. <laughs> I, it makes me want to be religious, because I think religion is pretty stupid, I'm not going to lie to you. But, but Mark Brunel, the man can turn in a performance that would make Vinny Testaverde roll over in his grave. <laughs> and, and he walks off the field smiling. He's so, he's always, I remember last year, we lost to San Diego at home on a breakaway run from Latanian Tomlinson in overtime. If you're a real Redskins fan, you remember the pain. And there's old Mark Brunel, smiling, smiling, smiling all the way across the field. He's sort of like that, actually. He, um, Brunel's sort of like an abusive father. Like, you have memories of him that are really great, and then memories that are just inherently tainted. Something wrong happened. For example, last year, was there ever a better moment as a Redskins fan than what Mark Brunel did on Monday night against the Cowboys last year? I mean, it was absolutely the best. It's like... When I think back on Brunel's time here, you have moments like that. You have the Dallas game at home last year, and it's like... It's like Daddy showing up when you weren't expecting him in the Santa suit and climbing through the chimney. And you love Dad. You love him. And then last week, it's like Christmas, and Dad shows up early wearing the suit, but he like crawls into your bed and touches you inappropriately. <laughs> I'm Peter Rosenberg. Thank you guys very much. RosenbergRadio.com. <laughs>